Well, this year's updates are um, really going to reinforce what was put out and published in 2015. And that is the importance of chest compression only CPR. It's very clear now that uh, for dispatch directed, when you call 911, the operators are uh, trained and willing to give you instruction on doing uh, basic CPR. That instruction will include, for sure, basic compression-only techniques uh, where the ventilation is actually relegated to later, particularly when the professionals arrive. The advantage of that uh, for lay rescue is, is it's easier and they have more confidence in, in at least attempting. The more they attempt, the more people are going to be saved. So easy step for dispatchers, that data is very clear. In pediatrics, uh, the physiology is different, and we've always believed that those arrests are typically uh, respiratory driven, so that frankly, before the heart stops, they, uh, they often become quite hypoxic, losing most of their oxygen. Then their heart stops, and, and there it's quite different. They really do need the breaths. Though we still stand by the idea that, it, that compressions are better than nothing, both for adults and pediatrics. That breathing for adults, as we mentioned before, can wait. Uh, by the time the, the EMS will be able to make up the difference and uh, lives are saved by circulation, not ventilation in the early minutes. So that this is a huge change for what we've done in the past, as many know, it's been kind of a five to seven year cycle where the American Heart Association um, would sponsor a major effort and then a concluding conference to kind of review the science and then come up with uh, what's different, what's, what's the, the advances are. And that took place about every five years. Um, but science doesn't work that way. Science is a continuum. And uh, when something important comes out uh, right after the in 2016, right after the last five-year meeting, uh, we can't wait until 2020 to really get this in the hands of providers and training. So this is our first effort to go to a continuous evidence evaluation, and then once a year to kind of summarize what's really come forth and what could make a difference uh, in outcome for uh, victims of sudden cardiac arrest. So I'm actually very excited about Yeah, so the goal for 2020 uh, for the American Heart Association is to double the survival rates uh, from uh, sudden cardiac death and CPR efforts. Um, we're certainly seeing an improved slope, but we're not quite on target to get to doubling that by 2020. And so we're really hoping by renewing efforts and, and again, uh, inviting the lay public to uh, just do it, just help. Um, we realize that this is a very uh, traumatic experience and, and yet uh, there's nothing quite like having someone come to you and say, gee whiz, thanks for being willing to help me when I could not help myself.